Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and chat to you about some books that I'm adding to my February TBR. I'm not going to be playing my TBR game in February mostly because I usually use it to decide what vlogs to film and I'm not planning on filming any vlogs in February. Actually that's a lie. <laughs> I am going to New York next month so I would like to vlog that but I'm not going to be doing any specific reading vlogs if that makes sense. As I said I am going to New York next month so I would like some books that I can read on my Kindle while I'm traveling and the first book that I instantly thought of was The City We Became by N.K. Jemison because I bought this quite recently and it's set in New York I think. I don't know whether it's like a fan fantasy version of New York or whether it's actually our New York <laughs> but essentially in this world I think cities have souls and there are people who are like avatars of these cities. The synopsis says that there are five people who need to come together to defend this city so yeah I think that the cities are essentially alive. I don't need to know too much about this book all I need to know is that it's by N.K. Jemison who wrote the fifth season one of my favorite books of last year hoping that I love this just as much. I think I've heard mixed things but I heard mixed things about the Broken Earth trilogy and that's one of my favourite series of all time. Another series that I would like to start next month is The Atlas Trilogy by Livy Blake. So I have the first book, The Atlas Six. I also have the second book, The Atlas Paradox and the third book has just come out so I feel like it's a good time to finally get around to this series. I believe this is about six magicians who who are competing to become part of the Alexandrian society. It has like dark academia vibes and it's another book or another series that I've heard mixed things about. I think I remember hearing a lot of really positive things about the first book but not so great things about the second and third book even though the third book has only just come out <laughs> but yeah I would like to get around to this series because I do have the Waterstones special editions and I was going to pick up the Waterstones special edition of the third book but I told myself no you can't do that until you've read the first two. So yeah this is the next series that I would like to start in 2024. I haven't yet got around to making a video about my priority series for this year but this is on that list so hopefully I can pick it up in February. Obviously it's a physical copy so I don't want to take this away with me but hopefully I can read it either at the start of the month or towards the end of the month. Speaking of series I would also this year really like to finish the Realm of the Outlings by Robin Hobb. So I only have three books left and that's basically the final trilogy within the series. And the next book that I need to read is Fool's Assassin. <laughs> I am scared of this book. I'm scared of this series. Everyone I know says that the Fits and the Fool trilogy is their favourite series within the Realm of the Outlings. So I'm scared to read this. <laughs> I'm probably going to try and read this physically. I have been listening to the audiobooks for the other series but I've heard the audiobook for this series in particular isn't great so I might read while listening along and just see how I get on but yeah I can't tell you anything about this because it's book 14 I want to say in the realm of the Outlings. but yeah this is basically following Fitz we're back with Fitz in this series and it's set in this world that feels like medieval England and there's different types of magic you have this one magic that means that you bond with animals and then there's another magic system that's essentially communicating between minds. It's all very complicated and I don't want to try and explain it even <laughs> but yeah very excited to finally be finishing The Realm of the Outlings but because this is such a chunky book I'm scared. <laughs> Moving on to some other genres and I would really like to read Notes on an Execution by Danya Kakafka next month mostly because the last last video that I filmed was going through my entire own TBR and I forgot about this book <laughs> and it really annoyed me so yeah I would like to read this just so that it makes that video correct that's a really daft reason <laughs> to read a book but yeah I would like to read this anyway because I've had it for over a year and I've heard amazing things I remember when this came out it was getting quite a lot of hype I believe this is about a guy who's on death row but it's not really about him it's about 
about the women in his life. So it sounds intriguing. And yeah, I remember the year this came out, lots of people were putting it on their favorite books of the year lists. So hopefully it's gonna be five stars for me too. The final book that I am thinking about reading in February is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. So this is another book that I have on my Kindle. And funny story about this book, this is actually the first book I think that I ever bought on my Kindle, or it's one of the first books that I bought when I got my Kindle. My first Kindle, not even the Kindle that I have now, this has been haunting me for years. And I think it's finally time that I read it. I was actually talking to a friend at work recently about this book because they really want to read it as well. So yeah, I think it's finally time. I can remember when I got it, I read the first chapter and I wasn't really feeling the writing style, but I think it was because it was quite slow. And at the time I was used to reading thrillers, whereas this is historical fiction set in France during World War II. And I did read quite a few books last year that were historical fiction set during the World Wars. So I feel like I'm in a better mindset to read something like this now. Otherwise, I don't think there's any other books that I want to read in February. I might download a few romances from KU just so I have a few backups for while I'm away. What I should be doing is reading the books that I actually own on my Kindle, not <laughs> KU books. But I am thinking about cancelling my KU subscription soon, so I want to try and take advantage of it while I still have it. But yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I know that the background is a little different to usual, but that's because my partner is currently using the other room. So hopefully the echo hasn't been too bad in this video. I know that usually when I film in this room, the echo is pretty bad, but hopefully I can fix that when I'm editing. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up here. Like I said, I'm not planning on doing much vlogging in February other than when I go to New York and possibly March as well might be a vlog free month. I haven't really decided yet, but basically the last few months and the last few weeks in particular haven't been great. So I'm trying to look after myself and not put that pressure on myself. I'm really glad that I sat down and filmed this video though, because I was really scared that I would just not <laughs> want to film anything. But yeah, I feel like actually sitting down and just having a quick chat about some books that I'm excited about has really helped. So yeah, that's I think everything that I wanted to say in this video. Let me know in the comments what books you're hoping to read in February. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.